Okay, this is the second video for topic 4-7. I wanted to make sure that you could get through example uh, 3 by yourself before we moved on. So let's go ahead and move on because they are going to get a little bit more difficult to example 4. So again, I'm going to start going a little faster. But it says HY is congruent to LY. So I would need to mark this congruent to this. This says WH is parallel to LF. So this line right here is parallel to this line right here. So this is where you've got to start to kind of make connections between different things that you have learned at different times. So in this case, if I were to draw a transversal, just to show you later. If I draw this transversal right here, notice blue to blue creates this angle and blue to blue creates this angle. Well, if these are parallel lines, well, let's use my sticks. If these are parallel lines and this is my transversal, Hopefully you notice that the ones that I marked here and here are alternate interiors. Okay, so again, they're on the inside, but they're on opposite sides. Well, we know alternate interior angles are congruent. So that's how we would know those two are equal. But using those same two lines, now if I do it in this red color, this here with this here, and now I switch to this as the transversal. I could do the same thing. Pink to pink or red to red would be this angle here. And this would be this angle here. So I could state that these two are also congruent because they are alternate interiors. So when you have parallel lines, you've got a couple of different options that you could use to mark congruent angles. Okay, So you wouldn't have to do both pairs, or you could do both pairs. It's completely up to you. So now let's see if we can kind of run through the proof, since we've already marked the picture. Okay, So our first box down here would be our first given. So we would say HY is congruent to LY. And again, our reason is given. This is already a congruency, so I would put a 1. Then down here, my next given is that WH is parallel to LF. And again, this is given. But this is not a congruency. From this, we figured out that angle W was congruent to angle F and that angle H was congruent to angle L. So we actually have two different congruencies that we got just from this information. So we could say angle W is congruent to angle F. And this is with parallel lines, alternate interior angles congruent. And I know that's a lot, but I did use a lot of symbols. So with parallel lines, alternate interior angles are congruent. And I could say the same thing. This is a congruency. And I could even say that angle H was congruent to angle L by the same thing. Parallel lines, um, alternate interior angles congruent. And this would be my third congruency. And I'd be ready for my proof statement. Triangle WHY is congruent to triangle FLY. 
and this is by, we have to go back up here, it's actually angle, angle, side. Now, if we didn't notice both of those sets of parallel lines, I do want you to realize that I could have also used this angle with this angle. So I could have changed either one of these to use these vertical angles. So I could have said, and again, this is not required, but I could have said angle H Y W is congruent to angle L Y F and then over here I would have said vertical angles congruent. So there's not always just one way to solve a proof and if I used this one it would have been angle angle side or angle side angle. So again there aren't really correct or incorrect orders or answers. Well, there are incorrect answers, but there are different ways to do it and arrive at the same answer, I guess is a better way to say that. All right, so now let's look at example five. Sorry, I got my paper stuck here. Okay, so marking the picture, B is the midpoint of AC. So this point is the midpoint of these two. So remember that tells us this is congruent to this. Then it says BD, so this right here, is parallel to AE, this right here. So now the only line that crosses both of them Okay, is going to be this one right here. So now this is my transversal. And so now I've got a line here and here. So now 1 and 2 are corresponding angles. So I could say that this is congruent to this. And then the last thing is that BD is congruent to AE. So this is congruent to this. So let's see if we can work the proof. First thing we write is the first given. B is the midpoint of AC. And the reason is given. That isn't a congruency, but the congruency that we figured out on our picture was that CB was congruent to BA. So this is a congruency, and this is by definition of a midpoint. Oops, can't spell. Mid. So now we go to our second given. BD is parallel to AE. And again, I wrote it because they told me to. It was given. And then from that information, we figured out that 1 and 2 were equal because they were corresponding angles. So I would say angle one congruent to angle two, and then we go back to this long one, parallel lines, corresponding angles congruent. Angles congruent. So that is a congruency, so we move on to our last given, which is kind of the easy one since they told us what it was. So we would say segment BD is congruent to segment AE. This is a congruency, and our reason is just given. 
So now I have my three congruencies. So now I'm ready to state my proof that triangle ABE is congruent to triangle BCD. So now I have to go up here and look at why. Well, it's side, angle, side. Good. So on the back, I want you to try these two on your own. Um, I want you to kind of remember what bisect means about cutting in half. And then remember, perpendicular means that we're going to form right angles. And if we have two angles that are right angles, then they are congruent to each other. So if you struggle to kind of figure this one out, let me know and I will help you.